supervisor Hager, why don't you start something? Thank you. First of all, I want to thank the Ada Business Association for organizing this particular forum. I recall four years ago uh, we had a similar type of forum, and so uh, I'm pleased to see it come forward. Uh, I've enjoyed uh, being your township supervisor for the past 23 and a half years. I again look forward to uh, being your supervisor in the next term. Uh, we've uh, progressed in our township uh, with many projects, uh, including uh, trails, and uh, we finally got the, uh, which is an MDOT project, the M21 project completed, the bridge project completed. Uh, we look forward to continuing to uh, improve areas in the uh, village proper um, through the uh, through the Charette uh, plan that's in place. Um, and uh, I think, uh, as most of us do, we all do love, uh, love data. And I look forward to uh, to your support uh, for the next uh, term. Thank you. Trustee John Westbrook, why would you like to be our supervisor? Well, I'll actually uh, start by saying that I, I never had the aspiration to be supervisor. I was very content to be a trustee of the community and represent the people. I've done that for the past seven and a half years. Uh, prior to that, I was president of the Ada Croft Commons Association for four years, and prior to that, uh, many of your children and grandchildren uh, may have experienced me as a volunteer AYSO and uh, YMCA soccer coach. Uh, it was during my time as Ada Croft Commons president that I noticed uh, one of the first things that I saw that we could improve in Ada, and that was the vast majority of the people uh, who live in Ada actually live west of the village and south of M21. Uh, at that time, they all had a Grand Rapids 49546 zip code. They were not part of Ada. Um, I personally went out and the research, discovered that there were some significant differences in terms of insurance premiums, home valuations, and how people perceived the area between those two zip codes, got that zip code changed. Uh, since then, I have been in a leadership role doing a number of things. I'm glad that my opponent mentioned the Charette. Uh, I actually took my time to go to Portland, Oregon, the National Charette Institute, to become certified as a Charette planner and facilitator. I uh, brought that back, and that's why that Charette happened. If I am elected supervisor, I promise that that Charette will come off the shelf, and like so many other things, we will work to complete projects on time lean, accountable, and transparent local government. Thank you. Uh, for the uh, supervisor candidates, uh, what do you feel uh, you could best accomplish in elected or re-elected, and we'll start again with uh, Mr. Haga, uh, to improve the business plan? The, uh, obviously, uh, the business, the district, and the businesses in our community are a very important part, to, part of the community. Uh, the, and I think we need to look and with the uh, support of our, of our downtown development authority to, to improve the business climate uh, from the standpoint of, of uh, bringing in, in new businesses, filling the, filling the uh, vacant uh, supply that we have in, in the community and uh, work, uh, continue to work with the Business Association in uh, coming to uh, that uh, result. That's a great question. Um, as somebody who has run and owned uh, businesses, uh, I understand a little bit about business. Um, I've been involved in sales and marketing, so a lot of this speaks to those skills. Uh, first of all, I, I'd like to see us actually have gateway signage in the community. Uh, when you drive into Ada Township from any direction, you do not know that you're in Ada Township. Let's get some signs welcoming the people with our logo and saying, a great place, Ada Township, a great place to live, work, and play, a website address, maybe, maybe even home uh, Amway corporate headquarters and have them pay for it. Uh, let's get the DDA and the township and the Forest Hills Public Schools to collaborate on a web portal where people can go to 
whether it's I Love It or We Love It.com, uh, one place to find out everything they need to know to make them want to move their business here. And then let's make sure and welcome every single business before they move in and after they move in, as well as residents with a packet of information that tells them how they can do their best here in the township. Those are just a few of the specific ideas that I have. Uh, for the supervisor candidates, uh, Mr. Hager, Mr. Westbrook, if elected, this is from our crowd, if elected, will you perform only as township supervisor or will you also be the director of public utilities? The uh, situation there is the two functions, one is an elected function, one is a appointed <coughs> function, and it's appointed by the township board. Uh, at this point uh, in time, uh, I, uh, I, I as a current uh, supervisor and the utility director, uh, do anticipate to uh, maintain both positions unless the board decides. To <coughs> uh, my intention is to be the best supervisor that Ada Township can have. Um, I believe the role of the utility director is one that can be easily outsourced to those most capable of doing that, those who are licensed and focus on that as their business. We already have a supplier of wastewater management and uh, water systems in the township. They may very well be able to take on that role or another qualified bidder. Uh, it's important to note that um, I actually did research this uh, extensively and brought a number of qualified bidders to the board uh, prior to this uh, being put out for bid uh, before. And uh, one of those bidders that was qualified both to do the maintenance as well as the management uh, was actually rejected because they were, quote, not asked to provide those additional services. Uh, definitely, I will be the best supervisor that AA can have. I will not be its utility director. Uh, for our supervisor candidates, when do you feel the growth of ADA and its demands will merit the need for a full-time supervisor position? Mr. Hager? It, uh, obviously, it depends on the, uh, the growth and uh, the needs and the desires of the uh, uh, community uh, from, uh, from uh, and, and, of course, the funds uh, obviously have to be available. Uh, I don't believe we're at that uh, point at this particular uh, time, but that's, uh, on a, that should be reviewed uh, perhaps on an annual basis or at least on a two-year basis when, uh, when we have our uh, compensation commission review the activities of all of our elected officials. Mr. Westbrook? <clears throat> I think the first question is how much time does it take to manage our community? Uh, I've asked that question on a number of occasions. I uh, have not gotten a good answer. Um, no one within the township currently keeps their time, per se, and allocates that uh, against various projects and things that they're doing. That is something that, as your next supervisor, I promise you I will do. I will keep track of my time. In fact, that's the first thing I'm going to do, is find out exactly how much time it takes to actually effectively manage the duties of the supervisor. The statutory duties of supervisor for Michigan law are very, very small. The rest of the duties must be assigned to that individual by the board. We do not have a track record or a history of seeing where those things have been done. Instead, additional duties have just been assumed. I think we need to get back to the basics and ask a specific question. When we have documented that we have enough work to justify a full-time position, then we're going to go to the board and say, we need, here's the justification, um, you need to take appropriate action. See, part of this is my own education. I must admit, I don't follow the Ada Township Board as closely as I should, but um, I'm happy to learn more. Um, candidate uh, Supervisor Haya, uh, what about that? Uh, are you, do you feel that there have been uh, misstatements of fact made uh, regarding township business of late? I believe there have been, and as you alluded to, the, uh, the audit uh, information uh, has presented. 
presented uh, uh, to however it was uh, presented provided, I think, a very negative uh, name for uh, Ada Township. Uh, from the standpoint, uh, I received uh, a number of calls that uh, the township was missing the uh, $300,000. I don't, uh, I don't think, uh, however, or, or I believe it, however that got out, I think was uh, totally inappropriate because uh, there was, the issue was serious. I'm not belittling the issue, but the, uh, the issue was not to that extreme, and, and I think that hurts the township. And uh, candidate Westbrook, does that discussion hurt the township? I think accountability and transparency are always best practice. I think when we hide things under the rug, when we dismiss them as insignificant, that's when we leave the door open for things that we don't want in our community. Uh, and as the person who brought these issues to light, uh, first of all, let me say that um, the current auditor who discovered those uh, errors uh, is actually somebody who has endorsed me uh, in the past, and uh, my efforts to make the accounting portion of uh, township government transparent and accessible to the people. Um, I think if you make a mistake, you need to own up to it. I think you need to make sure all of you and all the citizens of Ada need to hold all of your leadership fully accountable for the affairs of yours. Because at the end of the day, it is every dime is your money, not ours. I want to hear from the supervisor candidates the same question. Coordination of resources with neighboring township, uh, if elected or re-elected, do you see any ways to enhance uh, coordination of services with other nearby municipalities? Okay. I believe it's very important to, to uh, work with neighboring townships. I think I believe we have a very positive uh, relationship with both Cascade and uh, Grand Rapids. Uh, I think we work uh, well together in, uh, in, in uh, the uh, most recent issue or area that we worked on was related to, to the fire department and as Trustee uh, Crowe has indicated, uh, that didn't uh, work out because of the cost uh, uh, situation. But that doesn't mean we discontinue that uh, kind of discussion. Uh, even to the extent of, of uh, other neighboring townships, I think we need to all work together uh, to the benefit of our communities and our constituents. Mr. Westray? Uh, collaboration is a watchword uh, for myself. I've worked in collaborative environments for years and years. I think any time that you can work with someone else uh, who potentially has more expertise than you do, or can deliver a service for better value, that that's absolutely something you want to explore. Uh, right now, as Ben mentioned, we have a relationship with Cascade Township uh, where they do our building inspection. Um, I would love to have us have the type of skill set, perhaps our planning department, where we have such an excellent planning department, but we may have more time in that planning department than we have work to do that we can go to these other communities and say, hey, look, we've got fabulous planning expertise. Um, why don't you use us as your resource? So I think there are a lot of opportunities for collaboration. And as your next supervisor, I will pursue all of them. For the supervisor candidates, someone in our audience says, I was involved with the charrette. At the beginning, John mentioned it coming off the shelf. Why is it on the shelf? On the shelf, Supervisor Hager? I'm not sure I'd uh, say that it's on the shelf uh, per se. There are many projects in that charrette uh, that uh, would provide village improvements. The part of the major problem is the funding for these projects. There are approximately um, six million dollars worth of projects that are listed on in that charrette plan. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, either the next uh, DDA meeting or if we can uh, get to work on it, we're going to start working on the 
list of items that are in that uh, shred plan. So I would not say it's on the shelf per se. It continues to be done and looked at. Mr. Weston? As the person who brought the charrette to Ada, um, and it was actually a certified charrette planner and facilitator, that certification that I got on my own dime, um, I believe that the charrette is on the shelf uh, in the spirit of what a charrette really is. And the spirit of what a charrette is supposed to be is community involvement. It is not a planning process in the classic sense that it's being done by a small committee or a small subgroup of people behind closed doors. It's community driven. Many of you came to the charrette, participated, and shared your ideas. We have hundreds, if not thousands, of really bright, articulate, talented people in this community. And that charrette needs to continue to be a living, breathing thing that we have on our website and we keep people apprised of the projects that we're working on. And everybody knows, all the stakeholders, citizens and stakeholders, know exactly where we are, what we hope to accomplish this month, this year, the next five years and going forward. That is taking the charrette off the shelf and moving forward towards a new way to township. Uh, final question uh, to the supervisor candidates. Another whack at the apple of the, maybe the question most on the minds of people here. Uh, gentlemen, what one thing, if elected or reelected, would you do, could you do to improve the business climate in Ada? I would uh, continue to work with uh, the uh, major corporations and businesses uh, in the village proper and, uh, and those that are in, all of those that are in, that business, in the business district to uh, make it a uh, thriving uh, operation for all of our businesses. One thing I, I have a strong feeling about uh, in the village that we need to maintain the quality of life for the for the residential community in, in the village but uh, we need to continue to work with uh, all of the stakeholders in the uh, in the business so i think we absolutely need a much much closer and well-defined relationship between the dea the ada business association all of our businesses, regardless of whether they are ADA members or not, uh, and the township. I mentioned earlier this idea of having a single portal that people can use to find us on the internet and identify uh, places that they can rent for their businesses, places that they can potentially build their businesses in. Uh, I think there's a lot of things that we can do to actually be a welcoming and uh, marketer of the community. Uh, I make it a point to visit local businesses on a regular basis. Uh, some of my endorsers have commented on that, that I'm in touch with the businesses in the community. I think that's extremely important for leadership to be in touch and to understand the needs of business and then respond by helping them uh, as a community market the community of Ada is a great place to live, in this case, work, play, and shop.